Hello and welcome everyone. This is Mark Henry with another Automatic Wednesday Walkabout. Today we're going to talk about the ability in Open Audit 1.14 to audit file folders and individual files for changes. So let's take a look at the uh, the files system that is under views, files, list files. So this will give us a list of all of the folders and individual files that we've asked Open Audit to audit for us. Uh, we have several samples uh, on our demo system here today. Uh, row number one uh, is auditing an individual file on a Linux machine. So you'll notice the path is very much a, a Linux folder path. So we have uh, slash user slash local uh, slash nmis8 slash conf slash config.nmis. So we are auditing the config.nmis file and we will be able to uh, keep track of uh, file changes over time and then be able to create notifications about changes to that file. Uh, row number two happens to be a sample of auditing an, an entire folder. So again, we happen to be auditing a Linux folder uh, slash user slash local slash NMS8 slash bin. So we're auditing the NMS8 bin directory. And the third option, uh, we're auditing the, uh, the C drive and the Windows directory on a Windows machine. Now, an interesting piece, uh, Open Audit doesn't need to be told if the folder or file that you're asking it to audit uh, is on a Linux or a Windows machine. Open Audit will figure that out uh, itself based on uh, the folder path and the, the directory structure that you provide for it. Uh, currently, you can't distinguish between versions of operating systems. So, for example, you couldn't uh, audit uh, a Windows machine for the Windows folder versus the Windows 32 folder. You would simply audit an individual machine for both folder structures. If the folder existed, then it would audit uh, audit that folder or audit that file. So let's uh, let's take a quick look at what that looks like. So I'm just going to open up the uh, the Windows directory. So we've set a path for C colon forward slash Windows. I've given it a description, audits the core Windows directory. Adding one is simple enough. You click the uh, create button in the top right hand corner, provide a path to the directory. So for example, if I wanted to do um, the, uh, the event actions file in Enmis, I might say user local OMK conf event actions dot Enmis. Select submit. And now the next audit that is done, uh, open audit will, uh, will look at this folder or uh, uh, structure and at this file, uh, we'll use a SHA-5 uh, process to determine the size of the file and it will store that. And then the next time that it runs an audit on that machine, it'll compare those two file sizes together and determine if there has been a change in, uh, in the file itself. So let's take a look at what that actually looks like after it's been run. So I have a separate tab open here. Uh, this happens to be uh, a tab uh, auditing our actual demo server, the same server that I'm running this demonstration on. On the left hand side under the settings menu, you'll notice there's a file option and I will open that up. We'll scroll down. You'll notice that the, uh, the about the first uh, two thirds of this or so are auditing the directory user local NMS8 bin. So remember now that we've uh, we set an audit for that folder. So we are auditing that entire folder. There is one entry for each individual file. There have been no changes over time. So there's simply one entry. It's the original entry and nothing has changed. Now, if we uh, if we go down a little further uh, toward the bottom of this, you'll see that we have multiple entries for the config.nmis file. So again, if you'll remember, we have a, a check uh, for this one individual file. And so we're actually capturing the size of that file. And you can look back here to uh, our first entry of December 21st of 2016. We've captured the file size. Uh, we've captured the owner of the file, the permissions on that file as well. 
And then as you move forward, you'll see the next entry is from February 21st. So two months later, someone changed that file. And then a few days after that, on the 23rd, it was changed again. And then on March 18th, March 24th, and so on, down to uh, the most recent audit change of April 28th, uh, 2017. So we don't capture what changed, but we are capturing that the file itself has changed in some state uh, since the, uh, the previous audit. Uh, because we're looking, uh, we're actually creating a, a SHA-5 um, uh, you know, combination on that file. You'll notice here that uh, the file size of 17765, 17765 uh, was the same for three audits. So there were changes done to the file that didn't result in, a, in an actual file size change. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why we're using a, a SHA-5 approach instead of just looking at the file size or even the last date changed uh, from the operating system, both of which can be spoofed. So that concludes today's overview of Open Audit Enterprise ability to, uh, to audit uh, files and folders. Uh, I hope this has been of benefit to everyone. I look forward to seeing you all again on our next Wednesday walkabout. Thank you. <laughs>